Hi, I'm Melissa with Atlas CFO. Thank you for joining us on our third video in the series on cash flow. If you haven't looked at the other two, please check those out where we talk about cash flow problems, analyzing which problem you want to focus on, and today is all about tips. So today I'm going to give you our top three tips whenever we're dealing with cash flow. The first one might surprise you a little bit. The first thing you have to do is bill your customer. I am amazed that in these 20 years, how many times people just forgot. It, it wasn't intentional. They, they, they didn't even have a problem with the job. They just, they just forgot to bill. The key to making billing practices work is to have a consistent plan. So bill the same time every week, bill the same week of the month, whatever it takes to make sure that you have a consistent practice so that you know you're gonna get those bills out. Our next tip, timing. <laughs> For our industry, we have seen our cash collections, days and collections creep. So we're seeing it just extend out a little bit. As we see that collection creep, it doesn't seem like any of our vendors or suppliers want to be paid in any longer terms. So we may be collecting in 60 days, but paying in 30 days. Our goal and timing is to start closing that gap so that whenever we get paid, we pay. This is not just something we can turn on overnight. We have to have conversations and relationships with both parties to make sure that we can time this out and it's successful in your business. Otherwise, you end up financing the project or financing your vendors and subs. So make sure you look at the timing and understand how your turns are in your business. When you have that, you can control the timing and you can increase your cash flow. And our last tip, <laughs> is to have a great relationship with your bank. And this is something that we didn't talk about in the other two videos because this is a tip, this is a solution. We have found that having a relationship with our banker, both in good times and in bad, made cash flow that much easier to handle. We had a friend whenever we maybe were a little short and our timing was off or our billing was off and, and that was something that we could work with. Having a relationship with your bank is also something that you wanna to work towards on a consistent basis. Make sure that they're getting information from you. Make sure that they actually hear from you and, and can talk to you and, and have that relationship. Go to lunch, go to breakfast. It does make a big difference. Now I have a bonus tip for you and it's actually my favorite tip. And, and when we started doing this, the stress level went down. And that's what this is all about, is trying to figure out how to get your stress level down. And it was our forecast. <laughs> Forecasting cash is actually pretty simple. Although maybe it's not easy, it is simple. And if you haven't done cash forecasting before, we have a video series that covers cash forecasting, which made a huge difference for us. This enabled us to look out about six weeks and see what are we going to collect and what are we going to pay. Then we have a communication tool. So the forecasting of cash was able to reduce the stress and it helped me sleep a little better because whenever you're dealing with cash flow trouble, it's not that fun. And sometimes you don't sleep, especially when you get close to payroll. So that's the tips I have for you today. I really appreciate the time that you've given me and I hope that we can continue this relationship. Check out our website at atlascfo.com and also check out our class on cash flow at the link in the description. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.